Today is Monday, February 19th, 2024, and our contestants are Brandon Bogart, John Bergman, and Luda Franco. There are no champs, just the challengers! And now, here is the master of the challenge, Brandon Martin! And thank you, John Bergman. Or actually, why did I say John Bergman? <laughs> but anyways, thank you, Jason the Canyo. <laughs> you. <laughs> Wrong person there. <laughs> but anyways, folks, welcome to the Challengers. This is the pilot episode of the program. And, and this is going to be a brand new season that will be airing on the David 3000 Network. So, with that, I'm excited to do this, and everyone else is excited to have this series on the David 3000 Network. Hope you guys like this uh, new series, and if you want us to have it on the David 3000 Network, please leave a comment below if it goes successfully well. But let's go ahead and... Introduce our three challengers in this one, since we have no champion, as, of course, Jason mentioned it during the intro. In the first position, we have Mr. Brandon Bogod. Hello. So, it's great to have you on here. For the fine folks who don't know you, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I have been a fan of game shows since I was Five years old watching Lingo, a lot of these Game Show Network shows back at my grandma and grandpa's place. All right, awesomeness. And I think I've done this uh, done this before once, so this will be my second time overall. Okay. Cool. We'll, we'll go ahead and explain the um, more of the game in just a moment, but best luck to you, Mr. Bogod. Thank you. You're welcome. And with that, playing in the second position, which is the champion spot, we have John Bergman. Yeah, thank you, uh, Brandon. Glad to be here. Yeah, it's good to have you here, John. And everyone else we all know from the game of the another game show, Super Password, for everyone else who don't know about John. So for the fine folks, can you also tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'll, I can't do that because it'll be against state secrets. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but, sorry, no, I'll tell you, but I, um, excuse me, but I live in Madison, Indiana. I'm a retired uh, grocery store cashier. And uh, just like my friend over here to my left, Brandon, well, that would be my right, excuse me. <laughs> I'm also a huge game show fan. Um, uh, most, big old school, if you know what I mean. Or, but I also love um, 60s and 70s rock music. You know, I'm a big Beatles fan, so, and I'm happy to be here. All right. It's great to have you here, John. So best of luck to you as well. And, of course, playing in the third and final position, first time playing this on this series, we have Luna Franco. Hi. It's a good to have you here. For those who don't know you really much, can you also tell us a little bit about yourself? Gladly. Before I do, can I just say, Jason DeCanio, it seems like he follows me everywhere. <laughs> so I'm... Everything I do, it's all, I I dream of him. He's in my nightmares. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> no, no. Uh, I'm a I'm a, a narcissist by day and a hypocrite by night. And I can uh, I'm a professional dumbass. Can I put it that way? No. Uh, in all seriousness, I'm from the uh, Los Angeles area. I'm 16, which means I'm calling Chris Hansen on you people. And, <laughs> and uh, I I do also enjoy game shows, but I uh, I don't watch very many. 
Uh, I've appeared on several shows for the network, this network before. I'm not sure if any of them have made it to air. And look, Danny Lewis came in. He's also following me everywhere. <laughs> and, uh, yes. you know, I, whenever Luna's there, it's always a party, let me tell you. <laughs> yes, and I will I will ram you up my ass. No. Uh, oh, we God. Will... <laughs> oh. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Yeah. We can edit this out. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, but no, I'm, uh, I, this is my first time playing the game and I've rambled on for long enough. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> well, best luck to you, Luna. And of course, again, best no. luck to everybody. <laughs> oh man. We're, what a way to start off the pilot episode of the <laughs> challengers on this. Yeah. A good way to start the pilot. Too bad I've already crashed the plane for you, huh? Yes. <laughs> All right. Anyways, there, guys. So we're playing the Challenger Sprint. So each of you will get two hundred dollars from each of you. Oh, this one. you. And it will be rapid fire questions. So basically, six seconds will be on the clock, and each question is worth a hundred dollars. However, you can interrupt a question if you if you know it. But however, if you get an incorrect answer, it will deduct a hundred dollars. So, and if you, basically, if you answer incorrectly, we'll, so the, we will give out the answer and we move on to the next one. Okay. So basically the player who ends this round, the sp challenger sprint round of the highest score will get the first selection of the categories in that next round, which we'll talk a bit more about that. But however, if there is a tie, the player who gave the most recent answer will select first, or if, if time's up, after basically if i'm in the middle of a question we will finish that question and then someone gets the correct answer or incorrect answer control will go to the person who has again with the most amount of money all right so again we'll go ahead and get ready to start for the one minute on the clock so with that your time and uh, we'll go ahead and get this in there. Okay, cool. All right. So with that, go rapid fire questions and we'll get started with this first one right here and right now. As this Jacqueline Suzanne novel is an all time fictional bestseller. Buzz. John. Uh, Valley of the Dolls. Correct. He won five of the last ten U.S. Open tennis titles. And it's time. Moses received this list on Mount Sinai. Buzz. John. The Ten Commandments. Correct. This was William Bonney's best-known alias. Buzz. John. Billy the Kid. That is correct. Reportedly good for lowering blood pressure and repelling vampires. Buzz. Luna. Garlic. That is correct. Hot horror author whose latest book is about haunted 58 Plymouth. Buzz. John. Stephen King. That is correct. I would have said Ford F100. <laughs> well, so with that John has $600 so Luna has $300 Bogart still remains $200 but that is all good and dandy we'll go ahead and go into the first round as John will be in control of the categories so speaking of this we'll go and show the categories in this one and they are 40's Fiction American Revolutionaries Take the Kids French Art and Artists <laughs> Horse sense and all my exes. Who live in Texas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, basically the categories for the easiest question is 150, medium question is 200, and the hardest is 250. And with this, uh, we're you can go ahead and uh, choose the uh, choose which whatever one you want to get, and then 
Speaking of you, John, since you in control, go ahead and pick a category. Okay, let's go for it. All my exes. All right. And we have MPAA for 150, Vin Diesel for 200, and Claudia Silva for 250. Go ahead and lock in your vote. And we'll be in the gaming room chat if you need to. Oh, okay. So, oh. Okay, so. Okay, gaming room chat. So, um, we just give it to you, do, do we give it to you PM or? You can do it on the game room chat, as I mentioned. Okay, no problem. Um, all right. Okay. All right, just waiting for you, Luna. I'm sorry, I don't understand this. <laughs> Like I said, you can uh, you could put it on the game room chat of which uh, category you want, or basically. All right. Oh, I see it now. I was looking for the chat. I'm sorry. It's all good. No worries. I choose. I choose the challengers in stereo. No, here's my answer. <laughs> all right. Here's the that is the first way to start this off, Every, and that everything is doubled up. So, right now, doubles to 300, along with Vin Diesel 400, Claudia Silva 500. All right, everybody's going for this question. And with that, let's go ahead and do this first question for MPAA. All right, so everybody can buzz in in this one. So, with that, here we go. In 1968, the MPAA rated a film adult by giving it this many X's. Buzz. Luna. One. That is correct. You got it. Yeah. Yay. Right. So that is adding the 300 on that one. So that is doubles up to 600. You're currently tied with John. However, you have a choice to make if you wanted to. So, since you answered that question, you may continue to, to sweep the category. I must warn you, you get the question wrong, you'll lose that amount. I The only thing I know about diesel, to be honest, is gasoline. So, I think I'll, maybe I'll choose a different <laughs> category. All right. You're going to keep it, keep it as is. All right. That's fine. And with that, though, so, Luna, you're in control now. Go ahead and pick a category. All right, I pick Monday, February 19th. No, I pick, <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I, I pick Take the Kids. Take the Kids, okay. All right, we have 150 for Cradle Mountain Lodge, 200 for Lincoln Park Zoo, and 250 for Da Pane. Good and tight. Is it Depane bread? You could go for that if you wanted to, but Depane. Okay. Oh, here we go again. All right. Once again, everybody's going for this category for Lincoln Park Zoo. This time, doubles to four hundred dollars. <laughs> So with that, let's go ahead and buzz in if you know this one. So here is your question. Pinching pennies, the Lincoln Park Zoo is the Midwest city has something rare free admission. 
What was that question again? I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I will go ahead and repeat it for that. Pinching pennies. The Lincoln Park Zoo is in this Midwest city. Has something rare. Free admission. And unfortunately, that's going to be time. Yeah, I don't know. We're actually looking for was Chicago. Chicago. We're looking for. Uh, you know, I was just, I was just going to say, I know it's like Illinois. I think it was Illinois, but I didn't know it was that obvious. So. Yeah, but it's okay. And Illinois. It's okay. I mean, that. that is okay there. No harm, no foul. All right, since you're still in control, Luna, go ahead and pick another category. No harm, no foul. You're like a therapist. All right, I choose... Um, <laughs> I, I can't read this. I choose a uh, French art and artist. All right, French art and artist. All right, so we have in this one, we got in this one, John Dubé for 150, along with Brent... Francois Lumana, Lumana for two fifty for two hundred and Delacroix for two fifty. Go ahead and lock it in. Croissant. <laughs> Is Francois my father? <laughs> okay. So you guys are playing for three hundred dollars in this one. So everyone buzz in this one. So here is your question under John Duvall. John Duvall created a series of engravings depicting the hunting of this one horn mythical beast. Buzz. John. The unicorn. That is correct. You got it. Yay. You do have an option to uh, keep going if you want to. So, again, caution in this one. You, if you pick another category, you get it wrong. You don't get nothing on that one. I'm going to pick. I don't think so for two million. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know any of those other two. So I'm going to pass. Okay, that's that's fine by that one. So with that, we have three categories left, and John, it's your choosing. Okay, let's go for American Revolutionaries. American Revolutionaries. All right. We have Button Gwinnett for 150, Edmund Randolph for 200, and John Hancock for 250. Go ahead and lock ha. in. Ha ha, cock. Yep, just waiting for you, John. Okay, hold on just for a second, everyone. Yep, no problem. Yeah, John Hancock himself, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Category again, it's double. Now to five hundred dollars. Okay, here we go. All right, everyone buzzing in this one. So, so under John Hancock in 1768, John Hancock ticked off the British by sneaking in the Madeira type of this without paying duties. Buzz. John. T. Mm, no, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Anybody else? And that, unfortunately, that is going to be time. Well, it is a beverage. You're on the right track there, John. But actually, we were looking for was wine. 
Got wine. Oh, okay. Wine we're looking for. That was that was Vienna sausage. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> go ahead and continue. Alright. So with that, it's gonna be this time Luna. Since you still have the most amount of money, you go ahead and pick. I pick the the upmost blue square. No, I pick um whatever the horse said. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. For horse sense, we have Roy Rogers at 150, Lauren Green with 200, and Shakespeare 250. Go ahead and lock in your vote. Okay. All right. This time we uh, have different categories in this one. So, as mentioned, I'll deal with that later. But anyway, so with you, everyone, Seb, Brandon, and Luna, stand by on this one. So, John, for $200 in this one, under Lauren Green. Buck written the James Arness on Gunsmoke was later used by Lauren Green on this series. Can you repeat the question again, sir? I'm sorry. Yeah, I will do that. Buck written by James Arness on Gunsmoke was later used by Lauren Green on this series. Okay, sorry, but oh, Bonanza. That is the correct answer. You got it. All yeah. right. So now for two hundred and fifty dollars, though, Brandon and Luna step up to the plate and get ready to buzz in for this one. Shakespeare has this king saying, "Saddle White Surrey for the field tomorrow." And that's time. We're actually looking for was Richard the Third. Richard the Third, we were looking for. But anyway, so let's go ahead and John, since you got the most get recent correct answer, all you got, you already know what you're gonna pick, John. I, I I'm gonna pick um, the letter S in challengers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, 40s fiction, please, sir. Okay, so... With that, okay. So, we have the following with... Iron Rand for 150, Robert Penn Warren for 200, and Carson McCullers for 250. Go ahead and lock in your votes. Everybody else is going for a different question in this one. So for you, Luna, we'll start off with you for $150 under Ayn Rant in this one. So to research this 1943 novel, Ayn Rand worked in an architect's office. I don't know. All right. That's fine. No uh, caution on that part for you. Actually, we were looking for was the fountainhead. The fountainhead we were looking for. <laughs> All right, Brandon, step up to the plate, though, for your question for under Robert Penn Warren in this one. Okay. All right. This novel about a politician's rise and fall earned Robert Penn Warren a Pulitzer Prize in 1947. A pull a Pulitzer Prize in night. Yes, Pulitzer Prize in nineteen forty seven. 
unfortunately that's time so we we're actually looking for was all the king's men all the king's men we we're looking for so with that no money on this one so so for you john for 250 dollars for carson mccullers carson mccullers was only 23 when she published this 1940 novel about a deaf mute Oh man, I hope I'm right about this. Johnny Belinda? Mm, no, I'm sorry. Oh no, I I know what, yeah, the, uh, I'm sorry, but the hardest lonely hunter. That oh, was the one. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I'm such a freaking idiot. Oh. Well, it's okay. That's fine. But it's, it's early, though. Yep. So for right now, though, Luna has the lead with $600, John with $350. Brandon Bogart has 200 and we'll go ahead and pause for the cause, and we'll take our first commercial break, and when we come back, we'll start the next round, and we'll do that right after this, so don't go anywhere. There once was a town that worked so hard, there was just no time for play. But that all changed on this one particular day. Six hundred dollars. John with three fifty. Brandon still remains with two hundred. But this can go with anybody's game in this one. So this time the the money va money values now doubled in this next round. So with that, let's go ahead and show. And same rules applied for that. Let's go and show the categories in this one, and they are the NBA, canals, TV initials, beverages, anthropology. And whose movie title? So with mm. that, uh, Luna, since you are in the lead, go ahead and pick a category. Let me just say quickly before I do, I like how you say round. To be honest with you, I'm overweight. So yes, I'm round. The amount of dollars I have is actually my weight. No, it's not. All right, we'll do. I'm funny. TV initials. Okay. All right, we have... Cody the Pablo for three hundred, got Jack Klugman four hundred, and Cannons Cameron for five hundred. And with that, go ahead and lock in your wager. All right, record that. Okay, and all right. They picked different categories in this one, so we'll go ahead and Luna, please stand by on that. So, Brandon and John, go. we can go ahead and go with the question under Jack Klugman. So, with that, under Jack Klugman, in the title of the Jack Klugman series, the initials following Quincy. Buzz. John. MD. Mm, no, that's incorrect. You said MD, right? Yeah, I did MD, yeah. No, that's incorrect. Uh, Mr. Bogard, you want to take it or you want to pass it? Uh, what was the question? I'll go ahead and repeat it for you once again there, Mr. Bogard. In the title of the Jack Klugman series, the initials following Quincy. Uh... 
Pass. All right, that's fine. Um, let me get it was M E, wasn't it? M E, yes. Yeah. Um, medical examiner. So. All right. Okay, let's step up to the plate, though. So for five hundred dollars, under Candace Cameron, on Full House, Candace Cameron played this one of the Tanner girls. Buzz. You didn't have to buzz in. Since it's just your question. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, buzz is her name. No, it's DJ. Yeah, that <laughs> is the correct answer. You got it. Yay. All right, you're still at eleven hundred dollars, and we'll go ahead and clear this up and got the five remaining categories left so with that Luna go ahead and pick a category uh, let's see I pick whose movie title whose movie title okay. we have Tyler Perry for 300 James Conn for 400 and Al Pacino for 500 go ahead and lock in your vote Everybody's going for a different category. So if you, Lena, will go ahead and start with the $300 question to you under Tyler Perry. From Tyler Perry, her big happy family. I don't know. Sorry. All right. Well, doesn't cost you anything on this one. Actually, Medea, we're looking for. Medea. Oh, I was blanking. I know who it was. It's okay. All right. Mr. Bogart, step up to the play in this one for James Bond okay. for 400 A weepy classic TV movie with James Conn, his song. Say that again. A weepy classic, classic TV movie. With James Kahn, his song. Ah. Ah. All right, that's fine. Brian, we're looking for Brian. Yeah, Brian's song was the name of it, right? Or yeah. Oh, uh, that's okay. John, for five hundred dollars under Al Pacino. Starring mm -hmm. Al Pacino as a Puerto Rican ex-con his way. Colado. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Is it, is it Carlito or? Yeah, Carlito. Okay. All right. Since you got the last question correct. And with that, go ahead and pick a category, John. Okay, but let's go for the NBA. The NBA, okay. We have the Chicago Bulls for 300, Los Angeles Lakers 400, and Houston Rockets 500. Go ahead and lock in your vote. Okay. By the way, it's nice to see that John no longer owes the show money. Exactly. I know, right? <laughs> I, I, I don't want I don't want to wash the commissary dishes. <laughs> Just send it to my bank account, please. There, there you go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you, Brandon, and John and Luna, stand by on that other one. So Brandon for under Chicago Bulls for three hundred dollars in the nineteen nineties. This Chicago Bulls guard was the MVP of the NBA Finals a record six times. Uh, it's not right, but Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> no, unfortunately, that's incorrect. What about them cowboys, huh? <laughs> the cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, we were looking for, and this one was Michael Jordan. Oh my god, Michael Jordan, we were looking for. All right, John Lennon, please step up to the po to the podium in this one, 
and hands on your buzzers on this for the $400 question under the Los Angeles Lakers. In June 2002, this Lakers coach became the all-time leader in playoff victories by winning his 156th game. I don't know the answer, but I'll say Buzz Kobe Bryant. And with that, Luna, unfortunately, that's incorrect. Boo-hoo. We were looking for a coach in this one. Phil Jackson. <laughs> Bo, Bo, Bo Jackson? No. Bo Jackson. That well, you got the Jackson part correct, John. But it's Michael a, Jackson. Michael, yeah. Well, it, actually, it, it, no, it, that's incorrect. There. It, it, actually, it, it, looking it, it, for was Phil Jackson. Yes. Uh, Phil Jackson is the one you needed. All right, since. Everyone got the question wrong, and still, control is going to be with you, John. Okay. Go ahead and pick. Let's go for beverages. For be oh. We have cranberry juice cocktail for 300, hot cocoa 400, and root beer 500. Go ahead and lock it in. Okay. All right, everyone's got a question. Well, basically, two of them will be facing off. One, two of them, you guys can stand by on this one. So, Brandon, you are up for this $400 question under hot cocoa. All right. Alpine Mountains appear on the label of this ConAgra brand of hot cocoa. Folgers. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. That's incorrect. Swiss Miss we're looking for. Swiss Miss. That's that's the first time I've heard of that before. Yep. Didn't did Swiss Miss just pass last month? Mm. No, but I've known some Swiss misses in my lifetime, but I'm bumped there. Yeah, Merry Swiss Miss, everyone. <laughs> 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 All right, so, okay, John and Luna, please step up to the podium in this one. Both of, them, both of you guys went for root beer, so with that, hands on the buzzers, and here's the question under root beer. Back in 1898, a guy named Edward created this biting old-time root beer. Buzz. John. Hires. Nope, that's incorrect. Oh, uh, Buzz A and W? Mm hmm. No, no. Unfortunately, we were looking for, and this one was Barb's. Barb's we're looking for. <gasps> oh. All right. And with that, no one got it. So we'll go ahead and still remain with John. You still pick a category. <laughs> I would like to have. Can we have an easy category? No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. Pick um, <laughs> uh, one of the blue squares. Yeah, exactly. I will take the blue square, please. The third one. Uh, no, I'm just, um, let's go for canals. All right, canals. All right. And we have the following in this one. We do got Clone Rift for three hundred, Suez for four hundred, and CNO for five hundred. Go ahead and vote. Okay. So everybody will get a different question. Ooh. So with that, John and Bren stand by on this. So Luna, you go ahead and we can start out with the corner of question. All right, so this country's Corn Rift Canal shortens the sailing distance from the Adriatic to the port of Piraeus by 200 miles. I didn't understand the question. With that, I'll go ahead and repeat it for you, Luna. 
This country's Corinth Canal shortens the sailing distance from the Adriatic to the port of Piraeus by 200 miles. What is Chile? Mm, nope. I'm sorry, that's wrong. Greece, we were looking for. Greece. Oh, man. All right. So, with you, John, you go ahead and go with your question under Suez. Mm -hmm. And with that, the Suez Canal is entered from the Mediterranean through its Egyptian port. Okay, the, the... okay. I hope I'm right about it. Cairo. Mm, nope. Port Said. We were looking for Port Said. <laughs> All right. So, Mr. Bogard, for five hundred dollars, and you hopefully you get out of the hole in this one, if you get this correct. Operated from 1828 to 1924, the CNO Canal, which stands for this, runs parallel to the Potomac River. Do you mean Potomac? Potomac, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and time is up on this one. So we were looking for was Chesapeake and Ohio. Chesapeake and Ohio we're looking for. That's all right. And, well, with that, only one category left there, John. Anthropology. All right. So we have Johan Blumenbach for 300, Ruth Benedict for 400, and Davison Black for 500. Go ahead and lock in your vote. Okay. One of you guys will be still in the hole or out of the hole if one of you guys get the correct answer. And this is a most important question for this one. All right. All right. Ruth Benedict, the Chris and the Mum and the Sword is a classic 1946 study of this country's culture. Buzz, I don't know the answer. What is Nerdocrombesia? And with that, Luna, unfortunately, that is the incorrect answer on that for you. So... What is Chile again? You, you, already, <laughs> you already said the answer, so I have to, unfortunately, I have to count that as wrong, so... Anybody else, Mr. Belgard or John? Can you repeat the question again, please? Sure. Ruth Benedict's the Chrysanthemum, the the mum, the Chrysanthemum, and the sword. Chrysanthemum. The Chrysanthemum. Okay, thank you. And the sword is a classic 1946 study of this country's culture. Buzz. John. Japan. Yes, that is the correct answer. Buzz, what is France? Yes. But, however, you do have the opportunity to keep going in this, this one if you want to get out of the hole. However, I must caution you, if you get it incorrect, you'll lose. That, you'll right. Lose. That amount, exactly. But I'll go for it. Let's go for it. Johan Blumenbach. Johan Blumenbach, okay. All right, so with that, 
Your question under Johann Blumenbach is this. In the 1700s, Johann Blumenbach divided the races based on these bony body parts and claimed Caucasian ones are most beautiful. Can you repeat the question again, please? Yes, I will certainly do that, John. In the 1700s, Johann Blumenbach divided the races based on these bony body parts and claim Caucasian ones are most beautiful. <laughs> well, I can't say that one because <laughs> I get in trouble. No, um, I'm going to say the hand or the fingers. Can oh, I take the risk? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Don't go, go for it, yeah. Yeah, buzz, penis. Yes. Yeah. No, but it, 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 well, yeah. unfortunately, it was just for John's question on this one. So, John. it was the toes. No, skulls. Skulls, but oh my god! But it was that obvious. My god! Oh, when, hold on, since when are skulls by race? Have you ever seen a black skull? Well, well, you know, but he probably was from the south. You know. <laughs> Yes, people born in the South are, their skeleton are black. And, oh man, so, unfortunately, everybody is in the hole, though, and no one goes to the final challenge. And we owe you money. Uh, yep. We better run. <laughs> get out of here. Let's get out of here. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to... Go to the final challenge in this one. But, well, this is the first time since nobody's heading into this. So, with that in fairness, I will say, though, I will have all three of you come back for right. the first season premiere of the Challengers. To be fair, because everybody got in the hole, though, and all that, so... I'm just making it. Yes, we we will we will make up for this crappy pilot. Yes, <laughs> but even hey. though it was it was still a success, so never, nevertheless, even though it is still in the all three of you guys are in the hole though with that, but it was still a successful pilot, nevertheless. Right. But anyways, there guys. So that is gonna do it for the challengers as I will thank you guys so much for watching this. And, of course, if you like this pilot, um, despite the uh, in-the-hole situation, anyways, please... Yeah, despite the fact that we suck. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. Uh -huh. Hopefully we can uh, turn around for the season one premiere, but with that... You're the most... You're the most supportive host out of anyone on the damn TV shows on this network. Just, yeah, that's true. You suck. <laughs> well, I'm just that's kidding. only a rumor. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyways, if you want to have this a series there, please leave it in the comments below. And if it goes well, then we'll do a season. But with that, if you like this, please go and give this a thumbs up. And please like this video. Leave a comment. If you're brand if you're brand new to the David 3000 network, make sure to subscribe and also not forget to tap that notification bell under the David 3000 network on your YouTube app so you'll never miss an upload or a live stream. And with that, once we finally get a successful positive note of things. For season one premiere. Anyways, I'm Brandon Martin saying thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time for the Challengers. Take care and bye for now.
Don't forget to subscribe to the Gary Thousand Network for more great content like this one.